everything. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about what is Heroku and what can you use it for. Um, now, I'd been hearing people mention Heroku for quite a bit. I finally looked it up and discovered what it was. And the reason I wasn't too familiar with it was up until recently, I was only familiar with front-end development. And when launching my front-end applications that were just using basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript, I never had the need to have a back-end. And that's really where Heroku kind of simplifies life. So let me, let me jump to it real quick. And you'll see right here we're on uh, Heroku. And what basically it is, is what they, they define as platform as a service or PaaS. P-A-A-S, P-A-A-S. And what it allows us to do is it'll basically launch our application that has a backend. And in my case, I'm going to be using it for Node.js. Node.js is a great node and Express is great to have a very simple and easy to understand JavaScript based backend where I can create endpoints and RESTful APIs and things like that. Now, they have other things as well, Ruby, Python, Java, Scala, Clojure, and I'm sure they'll expand as things go on. But what it basically allows us to do, if we look at this timestamp microservice, is Heroku will host your backend and your front end. In this case, uh, this is an example from the Free Code Camp timestamp microservice that uses Heroku's app. And it allows us to, if we were to copy this, uh, define a URL, in their case it's timestamp-ms.heroku app, and then pass in, uh, you know, ours is a URL here, where it takes in a string and then converts the, converts it to a, a Unix date and a natural date. But this application that does this, with the back end that returns this JSON, is uh, Heroku's hosting that for us, basically. And so why would we use Heroku instead of going about going about and setting up a Node.js server or something like that. Uh, well, for one, when you're setting up your backend projects, it's it's great to have things on your GitHub and it's great to have uh, information like that available, your code available for people to see, but it's even better to have that and then have a live working version for people to interact with. Now you can do that. Uh, if you have a GoDaddy site like I do, you can see right here that uh, it'd be anywhere from five to $80 a month but you can also just have it done for free on Heroku and have a simple link to go and test out your applications. It's a matter of preference. This also doesn't include your regular hosting as well. So a lot of us are a little bit uh, strapped for cash and uh, you know, not necessarily even at $5 a month plus hosting, not necessarily the best choice to do if you don't have any money. So Heroku is a great uh, way to launch your, your functional web application to showcase it and then just link to it in your portfolio so that prospective um, individuals can view them and go from there. And again, uh, I, I haven't actually launched it myself yet. I'm about to walk myself through it, but that's essentially the gist of Heroku. It's a platform for you to launch your, your front end and back end application. And you'll see, um, you know, they have various ones as well. If you guys have any other questions, uh, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. And don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. The uh, link is in the description. And if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.